Welcome everybody. Good evening. My name is Leah Gilmore. I am the first service music director and the minister for racial justice and multicultural engagement here at Govins Presbyterian and you are on Govins Presbyterian Church. Ooh, you hear the crowd screaming and yelling. You are on Music Mondays. Yes. Every Monday, every Monday, we have an incredible artist to, to present to you. And before I present this amazing artist, you, oh my God, you guys are going to love him. Let me tell you, I'm, I'm not, this is not hyperbole. It's the truth. It's you no hyperbole. Whole purpose. Oh, no, what? Don't make me say something that's wrong. That's low per No, I said low hyperbole. Oh, low hyperbole. <laughs> okay. <laughs> okay, Maria. Good evening, everybody. Um, I'm Maria. I am a member here at Govins Presbyterian Church, and I also work at Common Ground on the Hill. Tonight's program is being recorded by Common Ground on the Hill as part of the Maryland Folklife Network of the Maryland State Arts Council. The video will be archived on the Common Ground on the Hill official YouTube channel, where you can find other Govins Music Monday and many other videos. So I hope you'll stop by and take a look at any of the ones that you have missed because Leah has put together a fantastic program. Yep. So Leah, that's you. And Maria has joined and it has just been an amazing blessing to have you here, Maria. Yes, thank you so much. So everyone, it's time to meet this incredible gentleman, Sule Greg C. Wilson. <laughs> So he's oh, Baba, which means father or elder, Baba Sule, mm -hmm. an infectiously charismatic facilitator. Um, create, he creates for friends and clients a clean, clear, safe space to reflect, to release and renew, as well as for humble coaching to arrive and healing can begin. You are in for a night of incredible music from this multi-instrumentalist, a singer, a composer, a writer, a teacher, an instructor, and a really fun guy. I introduce to you, Sule Greg Wilson. Yeah, Woo, on the crowd. Everybody remain on mute. You're gonna watch yes. and dance. Thank you dance. so much. The amazing Dr. Leah Gilmore, who has like That's done perfect. so many things, much less just the Jonathan himself. That's an amazing thing. But then you did everything else too. With Jonathan your own voice amazing. and things all over the world bringing this thing together give her a hand oh thank you thank you Sule yes I'm serious I mean I've, I've been watching you know I, I was at common ground on the hill for seven years straight I mean it started the year I moved from DC out here to Arizona and it was like uh -huh, uh -huh. Okay. I remember you I know? remember your first year that's right and and I really really love it but life said you got to do something else now so mm -hmm. So I didn't forget. I just had to do what I had to do. So we are one, of the, one of the shining lights has always been Miss Gilmore and Miss Esno. I see you, Ensor. Excuse me. I see you there too. That's right. And uh, for those of you who are, all I see is your name or your frozen picture. Uh, I have this in gallery. I specifically requested that we do it this way. There she is. Hi. <laughs> <laughs> I requested that this be in gallery view because I, as you may have noticed, I am of the uh, more melanized persuasion, which means I am culturally attuned to an interactive experience. You know, if you look at, if you, Alyssa Sanders, how you doing? If you ever go to see a black comic, first thing they do, they walk out and say, what's up, how you doing? And they're gonna demand that you talk to them because that's part of the culture. So everybody, Everybody, how you doing? Great. How you doing? How you doing? Oh, there you go. Thank you, Debbie. Thank you, Ashley. Now I can see you. Thank you, Jeanette. Every time I do this stuff, I feel like I'm on romper room. Hi, Julie. <laughs> we say this every week, so it's okay. Yes, so uh, okay. All right. So I have a lot of things I like to share with you. And so first I'd like you to say, yeah, yeah. Say yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, thank you, Ashley. That was perfect. As you say, yeah, yeah. Let me see you do yeah, 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 yeah. Say yeah, 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 yeah. Say yeah, 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 yeah. I like that. Now say mm, 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 mm. 
Mm, mm, mm. All right. Now, what I'd like to start out with you is something in true folkloric fashion. I don't know where I got this from. It may have come from the fact that I live right near Coolidge High School in D.C. and I can hear their marching band every practicing on Coolidge Field every Saturday morning. You know, could have been that I went up to Howard University. I didn't go. My father took me because he worked up there. And I think maybe I got this from Howard Homecoming Games. Or my favorite image is the girls' drill team at my junior high school, the Bow Junior High School. You know, because they come out there mm, red and white the school colors. See, they'd have on the white turtlenecks, red bolero jackets, red minis, micro minis, junior high school, and knee-high vinyl go-go boots and afros out to here. And they come out, yeah, and they be strutting. So at first I go, mm, 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 mm. it's your turn. Like you give me a yeah, yeah, please. If you mean it, say, have you got the spirit? Mm -hmm. Have you got the spirit? Mm -hmm. Have you got the spirit? Yeah. Well, if you got the spirit, we go, uh, 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 uh. Say, mm -hmm. uh, 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 all right. You got the idea? Say, yeah, yeah. Yeah, yeah. Uh, yeah all right, so let's do it again. Have you got the spirit? Mm -hmm. Have you got the spirit? Well, let me see it with your hands go. Mm, 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 mm. Let me see it with your mouth go. Mm, 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 mm. Have you got spirit? Have you got spirit? Yeah. Have you got spirit? Let me see it with your head. Mm, 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 mm. Let me see it with your hand. Mm, 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 mm. Let me see it with the shoulder. Mm, 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 mm. Have you got spirit? Have you got spirit? Have you got spirit? Let me see it with the head. Let me see with the elbow. Let me see the other elbow. Have you got spirit? Have you got spirit? Mm -hmm. Have you got spirit? Say yeah, I do. Say yeah, I do. Say mmm, mmm. Ha! Say mmm, mmm. All right, let me go. crowd everybody i'm the crowd if you have any questions for sule during the during yeah. the event just drop them in the chat my brothers and sisters and siblings i will definitely ask uh, sule the question also sule yeah. all of our uh, all of our artists mm -hmm. volunteer their time they yes. are extremely gifted people that we have been so blessed to work with in the past mm -hmm. and present and will be in the future so yeah. please bless them by gifting during our, with our tip jar that Maria will put inside of the chat also, that is PayPal, Venmo, and Zelle. So be generous <laughs> as you can. Thank you. All yeah. right, Sule. Thank you very much. I take WeCash. Oh, and also, if you want to, you could just go to my, uh, go to SuleGregWilson.com, go to FunkyBanjo.com, go to BlackLightWorkers.com, you know, and... Uh, buy some merchandise. You might find something that you like, a book, a CD, T-shirt, something like that. It'd be really great. So let me move on out of that. Now, I was, you know, when I think of the time that I was born, I feel so, so lucky. Because what I'm doing now came out because of the world that I was in, plus the things that, that I was born with, you know. And so... When I was growing up in DC, there were still street musicians. You could go downtown, people would still be doing music there. And when I moved back to DC, that's what I made sure I did. I'd be practicing my banjo and walking down the street, sitting in front of my house playing. I'm gonna keep that feeling alive. And as part of that 
living thing. I have a confession to make. I decided to call tonight's coming to you, spirits and dreams. Because that's where I am in my life right now. I've been learning so much, blessed to have learned so much. And, uh, and, I've, and I'm recognizing more and more just how much I was guided. And it makes me more and more humble, it makes me almost want to cry almost every day. But one thing, I haven't said, I haven't, I, haven't done, I haven't given this apology to my wife yet, but I have to. Because for many years she wanted to talk about things. And I refused to talk about some of the things that we wanted to do. Because I didn't know how. I was going to make them happen. And if I couldn't see a way to make it happen, I didn't even want to think about it because it was too painful. But then I realized I came, I grew up a little bit and found out that if you don't dream, like they say, the beginning was the word. The word is the first thing on this side, the first material energetic thing. But the thought, the idea, you say it, once you admit it, you energize it, then it comes to the other side, it becomes word and deed and thing. But first is the thought. And that's that dream which is given to us through spirit if we're willing to connect and submit to who we are and how we can best serve. Now this song I was so excited when I could finally play this with my headphones on. The song, based on a traditional melody, a sacred melody, became like a secular hit. Cuban. Words by a guy from Chicago. Blessed to have met both of these guys. But let's dream a bit. Dream of the land my soul is from. I hear a hand stroke on a drum. Shades of delight go, go, you. Rich as a night afro. Elegant boy and beautiful girl. Dancing for joy. Elegant world. Shades of delight go, go, you. Rich as a night afro. Santa Maria, Oscar Brown Jr. And my slumbering fantasy assumes reality until it seems it's not a dream. These two are you and me. Shades of delight, go, go, you, rich as a night afro. Oscar Brown Jr. in Chicago, met Mongo, and he came to my school in Ohio. And but I was born and raised in DC. And one summer, I was all ready, I was ready to go. I knew that I was grown up enough to go with my big brother and sister to day camp, right up at Tacoma Rec Center, not far from our house. I knew, you know how I knew? Excuse me, just a sec. I knew because I didn't hold my spoon like this, like a little kid. I could do like this and I could eat my food like this. I'm grown up. I knew when you get to the corner, what do you do? You stop, you hold hands and you wait and you look all the ways and then you cross the street. I knew. When you had to go to the bathroom, you raise your hand and you get dismissed and excused. Like, so I knew, I, I knew everything I needed to know to go to day camp, right? Well, 
Imagine me hanging in the screen door, watching my brother and sister walk, walk down the porch steps, down North Dakota Avenue, and away to the rec center. And they left me behind. And I was crushed. And mommy, she tried to cheer me up. She made me some fried bologna. You know, and it goes down, it comes up like that, and you cut it, and, and it goes back down. <laughs> she let me, she let me hold the stick in the backyard, putting the laundry up. She let me hold, do the stick, so it wouldn't. When you put the laundry on, it hangs down. She let me do that, but I was still like this. Well, Wendy and Chico came home, and Wendy taught me two songs. One of them is just the camp song. I still remember. I was like three, four years old. I still remember that. I'm not going to give you that. The other song I found out years later was really, 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 really old from like the 1840s song. It's like, cool. So that's what I'm going to share with you. Okay. Now, let me see by a show of hands. How many of you would like to really get really interactive with this old song? Okay, Shelly looks a little scared. <laughs> she said, I don't know. Okay, so for those of you who do, I'm going to take you there, okay? All right, so, and then I have a, a point to give to you about this, all right? So you can stand up. All right, you see me? All right. And say, everybody go, da 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 da. Very good. You're gonna do that about three times. So, put your weight on your left leg so your right leg is free. Take your hands, grab your right leg above the knee, and when you go, da 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 da, you're gonna slam your foot into the ground three times. Da 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 da. Ready? Five, six, ready, go. Da, 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 da. Got that? Now, bend your knees a little bit. Put your thumbs up. Stick them in your armpits. And go. Da, 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 da. All right, let's take it from. Shelly's still going. Mm, mm, mm. <laughs> so we're going to take it from the top. Weight on the left leg. Five, six, ready, go. Da, 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 da. Da, 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 da. Okay, then put your hands up. The first part we did three, second part we did three, set third part we do five. Really simple. Da 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 da. Right? From the top. Five, six, ready, go. Da 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 See? All right, got that? Good. Now, next part is on you. You can either go, mm-hmm, right? Try that. Mm-hmm. Or you can go, ain't it so? Ain't it so? So your choice at this point, okay? You made your decision? From the top. Five, it's getting warm in here. Five, six, ready, go. da 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 Next part, you have to get emotional. Put your hands out. Go. Da da da. Da. And the other side. Da da da. Right? It goes. Ready? Go. Da da da. Da da da. Then you gotta get real serious. Da 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 da. All right, from the top, all the way back. Five, six, this is a little slower. Five, six, ready, go. Ain't it so. Now from here, put your hands out, go to the side, and put your neck back, Dun, 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 dun. Let's try that. 
Dun, 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 dun. Got it? That's the whole thing. From the top. One, two. You know what to do. Da 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 There's the signal to start. And you go. Paul's got it. Look at that. All right. Go ahead. Go ahead. He's tearing it up. All right. From the top. Ready? I'll go slower. See, I thought I was going to go to day camp. Instead, I got this song. Alyssa. Go ahead. Wow, oh, right on time, Paul. Now the words. Hambone is sweet. Good, Jeanette. Chicken is good. Possum meat is very, very fine, ain't it so? So let's take it from the top. Five, six, I'll say, bum, 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 bum. Ham bone is sweet, chicken is good. Possum meat is very, very fine, mm-hmm. But give me, oh, give me, I really wish you would. What do you think it is? That watermelon hanging on that vine. So a lot of people think it's sneezing. It's actually biting a big piece of watermelon. <laughs> All right, you ready to go from the top? Ham bone is sweet, chicken is good, possum meat is very, very fine, ain't it so? But give me, oh, give me, I really wish you would, that watermelon hanging on that vine. Back from Camp Oak Knoll. Tension mounts. Ham bone is sweet. Chicken is good. Possum meat is very, very fine. But give me, oh, give me, I really wish you would. Give me that bone melon hanging on that vine. Yay! Give me some of hair. <laughs> yes. Thank you so much. That's so much fun to see this. That was so <laughs> amazing. Paul, man, Paul Holabrook, honey, you were getting it in. And, yeah. and Chris and Wendy. <laughs> yeah, you got to take them on the road with you, Greg. I think that's a really, really good idea. Yeah. See, so and once again, welcome, everyone. This is Music Mondays at Goldman's Presbyterian Church in Baltimore. My name is Leah Gilmore. I'm the first service music director and the minister for racial justice and multicultural engagement. And we are multiculturally engaged tonight. Can I hear amen? Amen. There you go. There you go. Amen. I'm so loving it. You can please um, uh, give our incredible artist a gift of love for his amazing, mm. amazing presentation. And the information is shared in the chat box by Maria. You have questions? Just ask them in the chat. Yeah. Don't unmute in the chat box. Yes. Thank you very much. Go ahead, Thank Sue. you very much. So like says, oh, yes. Let me explain for you. What does this have to do with spirit and dream? Well, you know, I have an image bored into my head from when I was little watching TV. And it was a little rascals. And little boy is saying, but we is saying, they thought they found a magic lamp. And so he's holding it saying, 
I wish to have watermelon. I wish to have watermelon. I wish to have watermelon. And the grocer down the street hears him and rolls a watermelon down the street and it hits him and he thinks it's really a magic lamp. And it made me wonder, what is this about watermelon and black people? Well, come to find out that the banjo that I was playing and watermelon are a couple of the few pieces, real pieces of material culture that came over with us from Africa. If you go to West Africa, all over Africa, really, even ancient Egypt, they had it. Watermelon was a huge source of sustenance. It was a walking canteen plus lunch. So just imagine you get taken, you know, thousands of miles away and all of a sudden you find lutefisk or you find has it, ha haggis or whatever it is from your ethnicity. A piece of it is still there for you to hold on to. And of course, now everybody makes fun of some people say they won't steal, but I fought three in my watermelon field, you know, so it, it got turned against us because it was associated with us. But it's really a very, very, very powerful tool of spiritual and cultural connection all the way back thousands and thousands of years. And that's why I brought it to you today. Now, I grew up in, I was born at Freedman's Hospital, then Freedman's Hospital in DC General in Providence. That's, if you're born in those, you know, you're really from DC if you're one of those places. Oh, <laughs> uh, wow, plant a little watermelon in my grave. I, want, I don't know that one. But let me give you a poem, um, which might ring true to some, this, uh, this sort of, inst of uh, occurrence may have happened to some of the people here. And I'm sure it's happened to people that you know. And this is a poem called Incident. And it says, once riding in old, Alb in, uh, excuse me, my mouth is dry, just a second. I should have taken a sip before I started, I'm gonna be honest. Mm. This is water, this is water. I keep water in the glass bottles here in Arizona because as you, as you know or may not know, it's very, very hot and, and arid here. So if I keep the water in the glass jars sitting around the house, I have one here at my desk, I have one by my bedside. Wake, drink it before I go to sleep, drink it first thing when I wake up. When I'm sitting here working, I wanna do snack, I drink water. And so I keep it in the glass because it, it, it acclimates to a little bit, to a cooler temperature naturally through the glass. So I'm not slugging Crown Royal, okay? <laughs> All right, so incident by County Cullen. Once, riding in old Baltimore, heart-filled, head-filled with glee, I saw a Baltimorean keep looking straight at me. Now, I was eight and very small, and he was no whit bigger. And so I smiled, but he poked out his tongue and called me nigger. I saw the whole of Baltimore from May until December, of all the things that happened there, that's all that I remember. And so, some of you may have had situations like that. Jerry, but you know, could you tell us um, more about County Cullen? So maybe, you know, people hear the N word, they hear nothing else. You know, oh, so let's definitely give the perspective of where you were coming from. Sure. Well, County Cullen was an amazing poet from the Harlem Renaissance. Now he was, he's originally from Jamaica, isn't he? Came up, right. Came up here and became, and was a very sensitive soul. So he wasn't, he wasn't, he didn't get a lot, a lot of publicity because he didn't push himself too much. But he wrote, obviously, some really telling, telling poetry and short stories. Now, as, 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 an, as a U.S. In griot, as an urban shaman, I have to be sure to thank you, Leah, to couch my words, but I'm not going to run away from words. Because if you crystallize them, 
they retain the power, that power. If you manipulate them, you can re-power them or disempower them. So the N-word, don't be afraid of it. Just know when, to, when, when you can, when, when it's good to talk about it. Anything. Skin color. You can't say, I don't see it. You see it. You could say, I'm trying not to replay the conditioning my culture gave me in relation to that. <laughs> but uh, to say you don't see it, yes, I don't know. I don't know. Anyway, so County Cullen, please read his. I'm doing um, that time period. I did, I do, I did a, uh, a storytelling series from antebellum times to reconstruction times to jazz age time, early jazz, and then beyond. Because the generation just before County Cullen was the ones who were heir to coon songs because they were the first generation born completely out of slavery. So they had no, they were, had no training on how to act like second-class citizens from birth. And that's when you get all the black ballads like Stagger Lee and Railroad Bill and Betty and Dupree and all these stories like that because these are black people saying they're stepping up and claiming life, self-defining themselves. So all these songs and stories about badass folks are, come out into the public. And John Henry, John Hardy, uh, all these come out, come out. And then right after that, they put the coon songs on to counteract that. And then the Harlem Renaissance pushed against the coon songs, the era of the new Negro. So it's a it's a ebb and flow. It's an ebb and flow as culture is. It's always a give and take, always seeking homeostasis. That's why we've been where we have been in the past few years. Things are trying to trying to find a place of balance. And I understand that. I may not like it, but I do understand it. And in relation to that, <laughs> I'm the youngest of three. And there are a lot of good things that come with that. But some bad things come too because I'm perceptive enough because I'm listening to my big brother and big sister and all the adults around me. And I say, what's that? What's going on? What's going on? And they just say, oh, you'll, you'll get it when you're older. Oh, and I just used to irk me so much. <laughs> I just go, Aah! But then I learned that every seven years, your body has gone through every cell and reprocessed every, every part of your physical body. And if you're doing your work, psychically, spiritually, you're moving up a chakra in perception every seven years. Things like this are built in. U.S. Constitution says you can't be president until you get to your fifth seven. A lot of places say you don't become an adult until you get to your sixth seven. And if you look back, a lot of great people died right when they were getting to the next level, about between 48 and 52. That's when you lost, lose a whole lot of people, like John Lennon, like Prince, like Martin Luther King and Malcolm, and Hajj Malik Shabazz. All these people got to this certain point in development and uh, the, world, the world did what it did. So this song is about that. Everybody say, mm, 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 please. You're ready for the song. <laughs> I'm just, I'm loving the groove, excuse me. <laughs> Everybody say. Walking through the park, 
it wasn't quite dark. There's a man sitting on a bench. Out in the crowd, his head slowly bowed. He just moaned and it made no sense. And he just go, tell me say what is it it's a mm, mm, mm. baby you just don't know mm, mm, mm. and then one day this, this part of your brain you know by the time you about after you get 25 years old this part of your brain clicks in and then you realize oh my goodness all that foolishness that I was doing I'm so blessed to be here you know all right, so, so blessed. And that's how I feel about this. Now, as I said, talking about the time that I was born. There's still street musicians. And Ola Tunji still had his center in Harlem. And I was lucky enough to spend some time there. And one of the songs on his album, Drums of Passion. Oh, by the way, that other song that I just did it was uh, recorded by Major Lance, but written by one of our great poets, Curtis Mayfield. So, on Ola Tunji's album, he had a song which I loved. And I got to hear and talk to him about a little bit when I went to study with him back in 1976. When it came time to my do my one runaway dreams CD, I wanted to include this song in it. Because by that time, I had discovered that the song was more than the public domain creation he had released on the world back in 1959, but the song went all the way back to the 1930s, it's just like Watermelon on the Vine goes back to the 1840s, Ore mi kinise, why do you run away, kia kia, has a history too. Now when I heard this old recording, it was amazing because it was a brass band in Lagos, Nigeria in 1938. Now that's, no, that's not amazing, but they were playing the music with this rhythm that I'm playing here, which you may recognize. 
as being samba. And I went to a friend of mine who spoke Yoruba, Yoruba and her, had her translate the song. Ore mi kini se tu ofisa lole. Ore mi kini se tu ofisa lole. Salo e, salo e, salo e, tu ofisa lo. Kia, kia, that's your part. Salo e, salo e, salo e, tu ofisa lo. Kia, tu ofisa lo, kia, tu ofisa lo, kia, kia. My baby, please explain why you run away. My baby, please explain why you run away. Run away, run away, run away. Why do you run a kia kia go run away? Run away, run away. Why do you run a kia kia? Why you run a kia? Why do you run a kia? Why do you run away? <laughs> And that sounds like a lover talking to another. But the, tr the context of that is the elders talking to the youngers. And it goes back to the, the, the Akan concept, even though this is a Yoruba song, of Sankofa. Which means, as you move forward, as you chase your dreams, never forget the spirits that empowered you and empowered your parents and your grandparents and your great-grandparents. So as you move forward with life, in life, for life, be sure to always reach back and bring back the power, the joy, and the blessings from those who have come before in their success. Once again, everybody, welcome to Music Mondays. You're at Music Mondays. I saw a few people who joined us later. My name is Leah Gilmore. We're a part of Music Mondays here at Govins Presbyterian Church. Govins Presbyterian Church is a Christ-centered church, but we welcome everyone. We don't think we have all the answers. We know there's a lot to be said about everything, and we are a Christ-centered, spirit-centered church. And whomever you are, you can walk through that door and you are welcome. And our pastor happens to be on the line with us on Zoom. So why don't you say a few words, Tom? Hey, everybody. Good evening. Welcome. We're so glad you're here. Sule Greg Wilson, thank you so much for sharing your gifts with us tonight. It really has been a gift to all of us. Can I do some commercials, Leah? Okay. Yeah. <laughs> all right. We've got a racial justice speaker series coming up Saturday, March 20th at 2 p.m. Uh, the great Ron Kipling Williams will be our speaker that night. And uh, what, what's the topic? Um, rock and dreadlocks, roll. And, right, rock and roll and dreadlocks and huge, um, social justice. And rage and yeah. something like that. It's going to be it's so gonna be incredible. Excellent. Yeah. So incredible. We're going to put a bunch of links in, um, in the chat about that. Today, for the first time, you can access our first ever podcast from our church where we interview, uh, Pastor Billy and I interview Gingy Fraser of Pure Chocolate by Gingy in Belvedere Square. And we talk to her about community work that she's doing and a Bible verse. And it's just going to blow your mind. You got to listen to it. If you saw the sun today, Leah Gilmore in our racial justice ministry was featured in an article in the sun so you got to look it up we're going to put a link in there about that too um great article great quotes from leah and from church members and then we'll just make sure you have access to our facebook page and our website because we really hope that you will get involved with us uh, at govins um just like 
uh, Greg, we are looking to raise your chakras up, you know, and of everything we do with the music and the, and the scripture and all that stuff. Uh, we all think it's the same, it comes from the same cloth. And so we are so grateful that you are here and we think that you'd love uh, to be part of our community. Thank you. Yes, thank you so much, Tom. Welcome everyone. Uh, Sule, I just have to thank you so much for the music. We've got a couple more, I know you've got a couple more and we're ready for it. But um, before that, mm -hmm. I want to just uh, thank you, audience people, Dawn, Paul. I see you, Dawn, smile girl. There you go. <laughs> Jenny, Michael, Valerie. Valerie, it's so good to see you, sweetheart. Pat and Karen and Tim and Karen. Yay, Tim and Karen. That's Tim Scully, um, um, Sule from Common Ground. Sandra Brown, Jeanette, Jeanette, girl, you've been getting it tonight. Jeanette has been <laughs> into it. Deborah Whitaker, hey, Deborah. Eleanor, mm -hmm. how beautiful. Shelly Enza, my sister, my sister, my sister. Our associate pastor, uh, Pastor Billy Klutz, he's on the line. And Ashley with a pretty smile. And get Gwendolyn, hey, and Alex Short and Patricia Short, I see you guys. And hey, Deb Smith, Deb Smith's in the house. Debbie Bond, Debbie Bond, she'll be performing March 29th. You got to come back. Actually, you got to come back every week because you, you just can't miss Music Mondays. Why would you do that to yourself? And Sylvia and Bonnie and Patricia and Alice and Jody. Woo! I want to say you all, though. And Linda Needham, and we're so happy to have you here with us. And next week, we'll have Jesse Peladowski back for part two. Oh, Jesse's cool. going to be fantastic. He wrote the incredible updated version of America the Beautiful, and he's just been featured all over the world with this song, and he's just really, really great. And he's a friend of Golden's. All right, so Sule, there you go. Okay. Yes, all right. Thank you. Oh, right. Thank I you. hear the bells. I hear, I hear the bells. Of course, that's my text message. Okay. <laughs> it's like, oh, the rapture's coming. <laughs> <laughs> Not yet, please. Not yet, please. Give I me got, a little more time. Give me a little yeah, more I, got, I need a little more I got a little more growing to do, please. Okay, a little more grace. I need it. Mm -hmm. okay. All right. Another one of the blessings that I had coming up uh, was I had my big brother, and I had my own room, number one. <laughs> and I had my big brother this way and my big sister that way, and they played music. And so I absorbed all this stuff that was part of their life. My brother's nine years older than me. My sister's four and a half years older than me. So I got all of this music of theirs and it became part of me. And I was lucky enough, I fell in love with this song too. And when I worked at the Schomburg in New York, every once in a while, I'd come out and I'd see the man that wrote this song. And I wouldn't say, oh, I love this song so much. I'd, like this. I'd just say, how you doing, bro? He'd say, how you doing, man? <laughs> you know, in his winter coat. And if you want to, you can go, yeah, 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 yeah. Shadows of a love 
that so divine and the glow of that love will light the skies up above and it's clear can't you see come with me song goes like this. The creator has a master plan. Peace and happiness for every man. The creator has a working plan. Peace and happiness through all the land. Yeah, 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 yeah. remember in Women's History Month that the Bible says God created man and then when man was made flesh then male and female he and she came about first but man is the spirit of people of humanity which is one let's say that again the creator has a master plan Peace and happiness for every man. The Creator has but one demand. Peace and happiness through all the land. Yeah, 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 yeah,
know and the road will be muddy and rough but we'll get there heaven knows how we will get there we know we will It will be hard, we know, and the road will be muddy and rough, but we'll get there. Heaven knows how we will get there. We know we will. We know we will. Sule Greg Wilson, everyone. Well, yeah, yeah, we are going. We are going. What Heaven knows a, where we're going. What a no. perfect way to end tonight. We are going. And let's keep going together. Amen. Yes. Amen. So thank you, Sule. Thank you for an incredible evening. Thank you for all the history. Thank you for your energy. Thank you for your love. Thank you for your friendship. And thank you for being here at Govins. So everyone, thank you, Pastor Tom, for you being here and our Govins family. Thank you so much for you guys being here. And all of the folks who now are introduced to the wonderful programming here this evening. So why don't we take a second, everybody, and we're, we're, let's let's thank Greg together. Okay. Sule, I keep calling it's Greg. All right. They both, they both, they both work. They both work. Really, they do. Okay. Let's let's thank Sule together on three. I want you on three. Okay. Okay. To unmute and say, yell, thank you. You can do it. You've been wanting to all night to say something. <laughs> Two, here we go. Three, go. Thank, thank you. you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you all too. I guess I haven't seen any you. questions. But like I said, if you want to, you want to see me again, you can go see me at Common Ground because I'm be teaching. What does it say? Funky Banjo. That's right, funky banjo. And that's bang, not bang, an bang, oxymoron. Bang. It's real. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Jay, Al, Al Green and Stevie Wonder and James Brown sound really nice on banjo. I can imagine. I can, and, I'm, and if you're doing it, I know it's going to be nice. Thank you, everyone. Make sure you come back to Music Monday next week with pa Jesse Paladowski. Then on uh, March 29th, we'll have Debbie Bond. Who's there? Hey, say hey, Debbie. Hey. Hey, Debbie. She's from Alabama. She's a blues woman from Alabama. Hey, mm. Debbie. And also, Paul Hullaberg, who's on the call. Paul is from Baltimore, but Paul is an incredible ukulele player. He'll be leading Community Sing the cool. first uh, the first Monday in May, and then he'll be teaching ukulele, beginning ukulele starting in fall for Music Mondays. So for all of those who have those ukuleles, it's time for you to learn how to play them. How about that? All right. Thank you guys so much. God bless you. Thank you. God bless, bless you. you.